Uh, thank you. I am uh, grateful uh, to have the opportunity to speak on this bill tonight, and we do fully support it going through the doll. Involuntary uh, keeping of people uh, in institutions should be kept at a minimum, and I fully support the rights of people with mental health issues, and I feel it is important that these people are given a voice. I cannot stand up here tonight and ignore the serious problems that still uh, stand in our mental uh, health service. We are all too well aware that people suffering from psychiatric illnesses are left waiting for long periods of time before they can access treatment. It has been reported that waiting times and lists are getting longer, and there are major services and gaps in certain parts of the country, such as Cork and Kerry. This needs to be addressed urgently, Minister. It is a disgrace that children uh, in this country who need to access services uh, are suffering. It has emerged that as of March this year, there were 2,691 uh, children and young adults waiting for the HSE to provide them with an appointment, including 386 who are waiting longer than 12 months. We have an ongoing problem that because of a lack of out of hours and inpatient services means that children are being admitted to adult mental health services. This is unacceptable. Emergency response times to child and adolescent mental health issues should not be greater than 72 hours. We need 24 hours, seven days a week access to our mental health services. Whose fault is this? I can say we with no doubt this is of no fault of the staff who work tremendously hard in these services, but it is the fault of the government who have failed to provide inadequate, uh, have provided inadequate funding for mental health services year and year uh, in the past. There isn't anyone in the country that doesn't have somebody in their lives that has had a mental health uh, problem at some stage, whether it be depression, anxiety, stress alcohol issues, drug issues, and it is a joke to think only approximately 6 per cent of the overall budget is spent on mental health each year. Mental health is an area in Ireland that has been neglected and we need to address this matter urgently. Uh, without investment and major change, the Mental Health Commission has declared that the level of care provided to vulnerable and distressed individuals will continue to be unsafe and substandard. In my constituency, I have seen a mother have to take to our local newspaper to highlight her struggle with the HSE to provide her with adequate support for her child. This lady has an autistic child who is, no, uh, is non-verbal and has violent outbursts. The problem here is uh, not just a question of funding, but how and where the money is spent. In this case, uh, the lady has been approved for 30 hours home support per week, but cannot fully access it because of the lack of staff at Coaction. I can only say wonderful things about the work of Coaction and its staff, but again, it's down to the problem of this government and the HSE of how the health and mental health budgets are spent. I have constituents of mine coming to me with serious concerns. It has been brought to my attention that when you have older adults coming out of their uh, facilities, such as Coaction, their parents are very concerned as to what will happen to these individuals when their own uh, parents can no longer care for them as there are uh, adequate services available to these people. I feel we need to look at providing more semi-independent living options for people who want to avail of the support they could access in a semi-independent living facility. It is time this government needs to fully realise its commitments to mental health and adequately invest in mental health in the upcoming budget to improve the mental health outcomes of adults and children living in Ireland.